And then his mother put baby Moses in a basket and sent him down the river. Why? She did it because Pharaoh ordered all the male babies to be killed. That's really in the Bible? Yes. He was found by Pharaoh's daughter and went on to lead the Israelites out of Egypt because even when you feel lost, God has a plan for us all. What was his plan for the male babies who didn't get rescued? It's tough to say. There was a decree to throw them in the river. Innocent babies? That is not cool. It's time we hire a youth pastor. Fresh blood, I like the sound of that. I already put in a call to my buddy at the Southern Baptist Convention. We are hiring a youth pastor. Why? To help get young kids excited about God. The same God who lets babies get thrown in rivers. What? We covered Moses in Sunday school. Oh, well, that was Old Testament God. He gets more fun later. Hi Welcome. There. Who is my favorite apostle and why? That is a toughie. <laughs> Although I suppose any answer other than Judas is safe. <laughs> so where are you from? Uh, originally Rhode Island. And you're a Southern Baptist? I guess I'm more of a Northern Baptist, but we're all just Baptists, right? <laughs> I'll show them out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who is your favorite apostle and why? Ooh. I'm gonna say Judas. What? How? Well. For man to be redeemed, our Lord had to die. If Judas hadn't betrayed him, mankind wouldn't have been saved. Pretty cool. I never thought about it like that. Well, you know, when you come at things from unexpected angles, people pay attention more. It's what I hope to do with the kids. Well, you got my attention. What's it like to not believe in God? It's great, big fan. Are you ever afraid you're wrong? About religion? Never. About other things? Also never. I don't know. It seems a little scary to just stop believing. Well, is it more comforting to believe in a God who could flood the world and kill everyone because he had a bad day? That's a good point. But doesn't it upset people when you say you don't believe? <laughs> oh, yeah. And that doesn't bother you? Does it bother you when you upset people? I couldn't care less. Welcome to atheism. All right, you two, get ready for bed. Church in the morning. I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? I don't think I believe in God anymore. What did you do to her? Hey, she came to me. I mean, I took the ball and ran with it. Look at you with the sports analogy. We're both evolving. Ooh, evolution, another thing I'll teach you about. I don't care what you believe, you are going to church tomorrow. I don't want to. It might be fun, the new youth pastor is starting. So? We can attack his belief system together, like the wonder twins of atheism. I'm Pastor Rob. I'm uh, guessing everyone knows what this is. The Bible. That's right. It's just a book. I like him. It's a good book. Got a lot of great stories, instructions on how to live life, but God is more than just a book. Yes, Missy Cooper, right? How'd you know? Let's see, Mary's your mother, Sheldon's your brother, and I hear you are one heck of a pitcher. Do my homework, y'all. Homework? He's winning me back. So what's on your mind, Missy? Is it okay that I'm wondering if God is real? I can take this one. Yes. He is absolutely right. He is? I usually am. You can't just believe something because people say it's true. You have to question it. Well, I told him religion isn't objective and there's no proof for it. Oh, I bet he didn't like that. He loved it. He quoted Kierkegaard and said if you could prove it, there'd be no room for faith. Oh, well, good for him. He also likes homework. Mm-hmm. He even threw the Bible on the floor. He what? You heard me. 